In February, a student at Macquarie University was sexually assaulted, allegedly by an asylum seeker housed in campus accommodation. The then opposition promised an enforceable code of conduct for refugees on bridging visas. Today, they delivered. It's just... I think common sense measures. In July, an asylum seeker from Bangladesh was charged with indecently assaulting a blind woman in a lift. But the code of conduct is not limited to criminal behaviour. It forbids asylum seekers from being disrespectful or inconsiderate, or even, in the minister's words, a nuisance. There have been complaints that people have received about antisocial behaviour uh, in terms of overcrowding and particular accommodation and things like that. The opposition says being threatened with indefinite detention, even being shipped overseas for simply being seen as a nuisance, goes too far. There's no point in being mean for the sake of it. The Minister Scott Morrison has confirmed he has known for weeks of a 90-page document from medical staff at Christmas Island detailing a litany of concerns, including reported unsafe practices posing significant risks to asylum seekers. Doctors are having five minutes to conduct their medical examinations of refugees before they're being sent off to Nauru. Where there are claims, We'll, we'll investigate them, we'll determine their veracity. 167 asylum seekers and four crew arrived in the last week. Hugh Rimminton, 10 Eyewitness News.